Hey friends! Welcome to my channel or welcome back if you're an old friend. My name is Desiree aka Mama Friendly and I do all sorts of videos on my channel. I do allergy friendly recipes, vlogs, hauls, homeschool videos with a Disney twist, a little bit of everything. So if any of this sounds like fun to you, I hope that you'll subscribe and click the notification bell so you never miss one of my videos. This video I'm just kind of throwing together last minute. It's part of the monthly grocery haul collab hosted by Jessica at Jessica My Rose and Tiffany at Small Town Six. Now my son and I eat gluten and dairy free, so typically my grocery hauls are completely gluten and dairy free, but I did pick up a few things for my husband this time around. So there are a few standard American diet type things sprinkled in here and there. Another thing that makes this grocery haul different than my usual is that I typically get things from Amazon Fresh and Whole Foods. But I recently discovered Instacart and so this grocery haul actually is from three different stores. I get all of my groceries delivered always and I'm featuring today Sprouts, Publix, and Amazon Fresh to kind of fill in what was left over from the other two stores. So with all that being said, let's go ahead and jump into the hauls. I'm going to give you guys totals at the end of each individual haul and then I'm going to give you a grand total at the end. So the very first store that we're shopping at this week is Sprouts. I've recently started using Instacart and we recently got a Sprout. So I've been shopping from there a lot lately. They seem to have a lot more stuff than my local Whole Foods for a lot cheaper. So first things first, I got seven bags of these Vegan Rob's Cheddar Puffs. As you can imagine, they're not actual cheddar because they are vegan, but it's my son's favorite snack right now. And they're usually really hard to find. And if you can find them, they're like six bucks a bag. They were on sale for three bucks each. So I stocked up. I also got this Sprouts Pulled Pork that's basically just like a heat and serve meal. I also got some frozen gluten-free chicken tenders. This is all the Sprouts brand, so it's all new to me. I'm not sure yet if our family's gonna like it or not, but we've been under the weather lately, and so these sort of like grab-and-go meals have been a lifesaver lately. I've also got some of these Mikey's burrito-sized tortillas. They're cassava or yuca flour, so they're naturally gluten and grain-free, and these are actually super, super tasty. They have a really good texture. We've got some hearts of romaine and some spring mix so that we could just kind of heat up some proteins and throw some salads together. And if you know, you know, my son's favorite, the honey crisp apples. He eats at least one a day and the organic ones happen to be on sale this week. So I got him enough to get him through the rest of the week. I don't like to buy too many of these at a time because like I said, he will eat one a day, but if they sit around too long, they get icky. So I just got him five this time. I wanted to get myself a gluten and dairy free treat and I really like cats gluten free for like donuts and um, I even like their pretzel bites. I've never tried their cinnamon rolls before. They turned out to be pretty good but the box was like six bucks and it only brings four. I also got more of my nut pods because they were on sale. The refrigerated ones are my favorite kind. I prefer them to the shelf stable ones and they're usually like close to seven dollars each they were five bucks this time so i got the original which is my favorite for cooking baking and of course coffees and teas but the toasted marshmallow flavor is an absolute treat and i did not know that they made them refrigerated so i picked one up i've got some pre-marinated steak here um, I'm not sure what cut of steak it is, but it was pretty tender and I was able to get like six meals out of this container that was about $19. I've also got some organic chicken wings here. They're not the cheapest cut, but they're very tasty and very easy to just mix up with some lemon pepper, toss them in the oven with a few potatoes, and everybody's got dinner. And I also got, I believe it was six packages of this bacon. My son loves bacon, and I always get him the uncured kind. So I'm kind of branching out to different uh, brands, whatever I find on sale these days, to see if he likes it. And because this was on sale, I got him six, yeah, I gave myself an ASL sign there six packages of this bacon at sprouts is this the last thing this might be the last thing oh yeah i got myself some of these gluten-free organic french fried onions this is like the french's onions that you put on top of green bean casserole i've been really craving green bean casserole so i ended up buying the things that i needed to kind of 
invent one, throw one together. So that's everything from Sprouts and the total was $153.21. So the next little bit that I got is from Publix. This was mostly stuff for my husband because the stuff he wanted I couldn't get at Sprouts. Like this regular old craft shaky Parmesan cheese. He also wanted some croutons. He was specific about the brand but not the flavor so I picked these up for him. And let me see, what else do we have here? Oh, this is actually for me. This is for a recipe that's coming up soon. It's a Disney themed recipe and I'm very, very excited to bring it to you guys. That's coming closer to the end of the month. And I mentioned I really like cats, right? I actually ordered these before I found the cinnamon rolls and I had forgotten all about them. So I have some chocolate frosted donuts here. They're not my favorite. I prefer the double chocolate ones, but these are fine in a pinch. And I got my husband three. 12 packs of Coca-Cola. My total for Publix was $41.04. So the very last thing I'm going to share with you today is my Amazon Prime order. I actually ordered this one first, but it arrived last in the day. I mentioned I was craving green beans, the green bean casserole, and I always use the French style ones for that. So I got some frozen ones so that whenever the craving strikes again, I've got them ready to go. I also went ahead and got some frozen broccoli just because, again, it's an easy side to just steam or roast in the oven along with whatever else. And why not, right? Greens are good for all of us trying to get our health back in check after this last bout. We also got some gluten-free stuffing. This is my second box of this. I haven't tried it yet. I'm kind of just stocking up with the idea of Thanksgiving in mind. Gluten-free things are harder to find, so since I saw it, I said, why not? I also got some razor refills because I guess I needed them. I don't know. And uh, what else, Desiree? Tell us, what else have you got in your little bags? Ah, we're opening the last bag here. I'm not sure why this one was blue. I guess they just wanted to give me a special treat. We got some shredded lettuce. This is basically water with texture. It has zero nutritional value, but I figured since I got those burritos, maybe I could make some wraps. I got some fresh green beans. I don't typically use these in casserole, but I like sauteing them with olive oil, some garlic salt, some pepper, really easy side dish. This onion dip is dairy-free. It's delicious with ruffle type chips, but I'm actually gonna use this as part of the green bean casserole to add that like creamy sort of oniony gravy type situation without actually having to make anything. I also got this supposedly for two people filet of salmon. I'm probably going to end up eating this by myself because nobody else in my house eats fish. And that is everything I got from Publix, $41.88. My grand total, $2.36.13. That's including tax tip and delivery fees for all involved. All right, friends, that's going to do it for my multiple grocery haul for this week or for this month, I should say. That's actually about two weeks worth of groceries. I spent a little more than I wanted to spend, but the focus this time really was on convenience. And I think I hit the nail on the head. So I'm very happy with my purchases. I think we're all going to be set for a while. And I also picked up a few good sales, which I'm very happy about. Did any of the stores I use look familiar to you? Is there a particular store that you do most of your shopping at and then kind of fill in at other stores? Let me know what your favorite grocery store is in the comments. And remember that this is a collab, so make sure you check out the description box below. You're gonna find a link to the playlist so you can see what all my friends got this month for their grocery hauls. And you're also gonna find the link to both Tiffany and Jessica's channels. I wanna thank you so much for watching this video. I hope that you enjoyed it. And if you did, I hope that you will please give it a big thumbs up. I'd also love it if you would subscribe and click that notification bell because I post at least three times a week and I wouldn't want you to miss a minute. Thanks so much again for watching. Bye.